All right, fam, let's talk about church hurt. Church hurt. I hear a lot of people say things like, I can't go to church anymore because I got hurt in church. Church hurt. It's like a, a cliche these days. Church hurt. Can't go to church because I got hurt at church. And the implication of that statement is that church is a place where you should not be hurt. You should never get hurt at church. That is a popular belief that is communicated in multitudinous ways. Church is a place where you should not get hurt. Number one, why are we elevating hurt to the extent that we expect to live life without it? And number two, why are we elevating church to the extent that we expect to do church without it. The problem with this whole idea is that the church is comprised of human beings, and human beings tend to F things up from time to time. Even the best, healthiest, most loving human beings hurt people. I uh, remember when we first started our church, we had this leadership meeting prior to launch, and there was a team of about 12 of us, something like that. I was a naive, super confident 27-year-old. And one of my former Bible college professors was on the team with us. And uh, Dr. Searle mentored, spiritual fathered me and my wife, did our wedding and I remember, I'm, I'm so excited, I'm talking to the team, and I said something like, we're going to do this right, guys. We're not going to hurt people. And I remember Dr. Searle going, mm, maybe, but probably not. And he just smiled. And I, I, I was so offended by that at the time. I thought, what do you mean, maybe? We're not going to hurt people. Even in my mind at that time when we started, I had this idealistic approach to community and church and this deep desire to create a community that was devoid of pain. And Doc was older and keenly aware of the impossibility of that task. Setting out to create a community in which no one gets hurt. If that is your number one priority, then there cannot be any human beings in that community because human beings hurt one another. It's just life. You ever been hurt by a member of your family? You ever been hurt by your wife? You ever been hurt by your husband? I dare say that if you are married and have been married for any period of time, your spouse has hurt you more than any person on the planet. And you have hurt your spouse more than any person on the planet. For some reason, we elevate church above all other contexts comprised of human relationships. We expect to be hurt in family. That's just life. We expect to be hurt at work. That's just life. But church? You shouldn't get hurt at church. That's the idea. But I think there's a distinction that we have to make. I mean, I do. I, I am not negating the legitimate levels of damage that have been done to people's hearts and minds and even bodies at church. I do believe that there is a kind of hurt that should never transpire at church. Uh, 1993, the movie The Program, a uh, football movie. One of the players gets hit really hard during this play. Bam! And he's on the ground, and he's writhing in pain. Oh, oh, oh. And the coach comes over to him and, and says, uh, are you injured or are you hurt? And he said, what's the difference? He said, if you're injured, you cannot continue playing. If you're hurt, you can. And he said, oh, okay, I think I'm just hurt. And the coach said, okay, good, get up. <laughs> and the guy got up and went back to the game. So when you say that you were hurt at church, were you injured or were you hurt? Meaning, were you abused? Were you truly spiritually abused? That's one thing. Or were you just hurt? Did you just get your feelings hurt? Sometimes people get hurt at church 
simply because they refuse to repent of something for which they should repent. And then they walk away saying, the church hurt me. What they really mean is I was confronted with my sin and I refused to repent, and that was hurtful to me. Well, get up. Just get up. Or maybe somebody just hurts your feelings, and it's a legitimate hurt, but it's not an injury. Just get up. Just get up. You know, the fact of the matter is, it's probably true of the majority of church situations, healthy church situations. I'm not talking about abusive churches, and there are abusive churches, and there are abusive pastors. But even in the most healthy church situations, people get hurt. It just happens. People get hurt. But it's my contention, my observation, my experience, is that the one who gets hurt the most in church is the pastor. But it's just an occupational hazard for us. I mean, we just take a licking and keep on ticking. That's the job. You get hurt and you get up and you go on. And you get hurt and you get up and you go on. And if we were to leave our churches as quickly as some people are because they got hurt, we would have left our churches a hundred times. But that's neither here nor there. But I think the point that I wanted to make today was, get it out of your mind that you're not supposed to be hurt at church. Don't elevate church and don't elevate hurt to the extent that those two categories become mutually exclusive. It's unrealistic. Nobody says, I've got hurt in family, so I don't want to have a family ever again. Nobody says, I got hurt in friendship, so I don't ever want to have a friend ever again. I got hurt in marriage, so I don't ever want to be married. Or I got hurt in in romantic love, so I'll never have another romantic love interest. I got hurt at the grocery store. I'm never going shopping again. The teller at the bank said something rude to me, and I got hurt at the bank. I'm not using a bank ever again. If anyone were to say any of those things, we would tell them that that's utterly ridiculous. But people say that about church all the time. And maybe you were injured at church. Maybe you were legitimately abused. And that pain is real. And that hurt is real. You're injured to the extent that you cannot continue in the game. What you need is to find a healthy church that's like a hospital where you can be cared for and nursed back to health so that you can get back in the game. Maybe you can't serve, but you can still worship. You can still become a part of a loving community. I know I've hurt some people. And I know some people have hurt me. But I'm not taken out of the game. I'm still in the game. Seven said, I'm in the game like a right guard. You can lock me up in a psych ward, but I'll still be screaming out, Christ, Lord. String me up by my mic cord. (laughs) I'm still in the game, folks. Some of you have been on the bench for too long. Some of you got hit so hard you left the game and you haven't come back yet. I was hurt. Church hurt. And now you're living your life in avoidance of pain, avoidance of hurt. You never want to go back to the place that hurts you. That's a lonely existence, folks. It's not a way of life worth living. I'm not saying that to suggest that you should stop living your life. I'm saying that to suggest that you should get back in the game. And you should not abandon the church because you got hurt there. Maybe find a new one. 
but get back in the game. Peace and grace.